In this video, we shall discuss how to calculate uh, goodwill under capitalization method. I have already uploaded videos on how to calculate goodwill under average profit method and super profit method. If you have not watched the video, the link I have given it in the description box. Do watch that video. Okay, now let's see how to calculate goodwill under capitalization method. Under this method, we have two ways in which we can calculate. One is capitalization of average profit. The other is capitalization of super profit. Capitalization of super profit, we will see in the later part of the video. First, we will see how to calculate under average profit. As I have already told you, remember the calculation step by step. The first step that you have to calculate is you have to calculate average profit. Already we have calculated average profit in the other two methods. This is a very easy step. You have to add the profit of the previous years that is given in the question divided by number of years. So in the question, if you are given profit of three years, add the profit of the three years divided by three. If you are given four years profit, add the profit of the four years divided by four because we are adding four years profit. So if you do this, what will you get? You will get average profit. Your next step is capitalize the average profit. For capitalizing the average profit, what you should do? Average profit multiplied by 100 divided by normal rate of return that will be given in the question. Average profit into 100 divided by normal rate of return. I hope you remember this step, normal rate of return. Under When we calculated goodwill under super profit method, what did we do? Normal rate of return divided by 100, we did. When we calculated goodwill under super profit method, normal rate of return divided by 100. But under average profit method, when you are capitalizing the average profit, you are going to reverse it. 100 divided by normal rate of return. Whatever is the average profit that you got in the first step, that average profit into 100 divided by normal rate of return. The next step is you have to calculate the firm's capital. That is, we are going to calculate the net assets. How to calculate net asset? Net asset is nothing but asset minus liability. All assets minus all liabilities. So, all assets minus, minus liability will give you what? It will give you net asset. But when you are deducting this liability, you will not take goodwill that is given. If goodwill is given in the balance sheet, don't take that goodwill. Fictitious assets that is given in the question. If goodwill and fictitious assets are given, exclude that goodwill and fictitious assets. Add all the assets apart from goodwill and fictitious assets deducted from liability. When you are deducting from liability, both long term and short term, all liabilities will be taken. So, assets minus liability will give you net asset. Okay, then how to calculate goodwill? Now, calculation of goodwill is very easy. The answer that you got in the second step, what answer did we calculate in the second step? It is capitalization of average profit. So, the answer that you got in the second step, capitalization of average profit minus whatever net asset that you got in the third step. So, goodwill is nothing but capitalization of average profit minus net asset. This will give you the value of goodwill. Now, let us see how to work out this with the problem. The first question that I have taken, a business has earned average profit of rupees 1 lakh during the last few years and the normal rate of return in a similar business is 10 percentage. Ascertain the value of goodwill by capitalization method. So, we have to calculate goodwill under capitalization method. And again, it is given as average profit method. So, we have to calculate goodwill under average profit method. Capitalization of average profit. Given that, the value of net asset of the business is 8,20,000. Okay. With this information, we are going to calculate goodwill under capitalization of average profit method. What is the first step that I have told you? The first step is you have to calculate average profit. Look into the question, how much is the average profit? In this question, you don't have to calculate average profit because it is given directly in the question. The average profit is how much? It is 1 lakh. So, 1 lakh is the average profit. After calculating average profit, what is your second step? You have to calculate the capitalized value of average profit. 
capitalized value of average profit. How to calculate that? Whatever is the average profit, that average profit into 100 divided by normal rate of return. What is the normal rate of return that is given in the question? Look here, it is 10 percentage. So, 100 divided by 10. The answer that you will get is 10 lakhs. So, after calculating capitalized value of average profit, what is your third step? You have to calculate the net assets. You have to calculate the capital of the firm. This is nothing but capital. This is nothing but the net assets of the firm. In this question, you don't have to calculate this because the net asset is given directly. Look here. The net asset of the business is 8,20,000 which is given in the question directly. If it is not given, what should you do? You should uh, deduct assets by liabilities. Assets minus liabilities will give you net asset. In this question, it is given directly. It is 8,20,000. Then the last step is we have to calculate goodwill. How to calculate goodwill? It is nothing but the value that arrived in 2 minus the value that you got in 3. That is capital value of average profit minus net asset. Substitute the values 10 lakhs minus 8 lakh 20,000. So what will be the goodwill? It will be 1 lakh 80,000. So remember this step by step. It will be very easy. If you have to calculate goodwill under capitalization of average profit, first calculate average profit, then find out the capitalized value of average profit, then calculate net asset and finally calculate goodwill. Okay. I have taken one more question. A business has earned average profit of rupees 1 lakh during the past 5 years. Find out the value of goodwill by capitalization method. So we are going to calculate goodwill under capitalization method. Given that the assets of the business are 10 lakhs, its external liabilities are 1 lakh 80,000. The normal rate of return is 10 percentage. So this is the information given in the question. So as usual follow step by step. What is the first step? You have to calculate average profit. What is the average profit that is given in the question? It, in this question also average profit is given directly. It is 1 lakh. So 1 lakh is the average profit. What is your second step? We have to calculate the capitalized value of average profit. So capitalized value of average profit is equal to whatever is the average profit that we have calculated under step 1 into 100 divided by normal rate of return. Look here the normal rate of return given in the question is 10 percentage. So 100 divided by 10. The answer that we will get is 10 lakhs. Then the third step. What is the third step? We have to calculate net asset. How to calculate net asset? It is nothing but assets minus liabilities. Look into the question. The assets of the business are 10 lakh. The assets of the business are 10 lakh and the external liabilities are 1 lakh 80,000. So what will be the net asset? 10 lakhs assets minus liabilities. Liabilities is 1 lakh 80,000. So your answer will be 8 lakh 20,000. Then fourth step you have to calculate goodwill. What is goodwill? Goodwill is nothing but capital, capitalized value of average profit minus net asset. The answer that you got in step 2 minus step 3. So it is 10 lakhs minus 8 lakh 20 thousand. So your goodwill will be 1 lakh 80 thousand. So I hope you would have understood how to calculate uh, goodwill under capitalization of average profit method. Okay, now having understood how to calculate capitalization under average profit method, we are going to see how to calculate goodwill under capitalization of super profit method. Under super profit method, your first step is you have to calculate the capital. Already we have saw under average profit, capitalization of average profit, how to calculate capital. It is nothing but asset minus liabilities. 
when you are taking asset you will be excluding what you will be excluding goodwill and you will be excluding fictitious assets fictitious assets exclude both these assets and the remaining asset we will be taking that asset minus liability will give you the capital of the firm after calculating capital of the firm your next step is you have to calculate normal profit on capital employed so normal profit on capital employed is whatever capital that you have calculated under step 1 that capital into normal rate of return divided by 100 this we have done under super profit method hope you remember under super profit method we calculated in this way only so capital into normal rate of return divided by 100 then next step is average profit average profit is the same thing add the profit of the previous years divided by number of years step is you have to calculate super profit super profit also similar to what we have calculated under super profit method it is nothing but average profit whatever average profit that we have got that average profit minus normal profit okay then you have to calculate goodwill how to calculate goodwill whatever super profit that we have got that into 100 divided by normal rate of return is it clear 100 divided by normal rate of return so this capitalization of super profit is very similar to super profit method am i clear okay now let's see work out a problem rama brothers earns an average profit of rupees 30000 with a capital of rupees 2 lakhs the normal rate of return in the business is 10 percentage using capitalization of super profit method work out the value work out the value of goodwill of the firm okay so as usual we will go step by step what is our first step we have to calculate the capital of the firm we have to calculate the capital what is capital assets minus liabilities in this question the capital is given directly the capital is 2 lakhs which is given directly so write 2 lakhs this is the capital of the firm then what is your second step you have to calculate normal profit how to calculate normal profit it is capital into normal rate of return so capital is 2 lakhs into normal rate of return look into the question it is given as 10 percentage so into 10 divided by 100 the answer that we will get is 20000 after calculating nor we have to calculate what average profit how to calculate average profit profit of the previous years divided by number of years but in this question average profit is given directly it is 30000 rupees so 30000 is the average profit have to calculate super profit how to calculate super profit it is average profit minus normal profit so okay now substitute the values what is the average profit average profit is 30000 that we have calculated so 30000 minus what is the normal profit it is 20000 minus 20000 so your super profit will be 10000 now the last step we have to calculate what we have to calculate goodwill how to calculate goodwill it is super profit into normal rate of return 100 divided by normal rate of return what is the super profit here we have calculated it is 10000 into 100 divided by normal rate of return what is the normal rate of return it is 10 percentage so 100 divided by 10 the answer that we get is 1 lakh this is the value of goodwill so this capitalization of super profit is similar to super profit method the only difference is 100 divided by normal rate of return there we will do it as normal rate of return divided by 100 but here it is 100 divided by normal rate of return so i hope you have understood how to calculate goodwill under capitalization